a spell. Alright, so I'm sorry for not opening for like three months now. I have computer issues, com yeah, computer issues and camera issues. So that's why I haven't uploaded and I've been busy because I have two jobs now, finally, and I'm a freshman in college. Wow, it's crazy. I have a notebook of the things. Oh, my phone just fell. I have a notebook of the things I want to say to you guys today. And yeah, wait, I didn't even tell you guys what this video is about. This is my back to school video and I want to change things up a little bit. I know I always do a back to school outfit, you know, stuff, but. This year, I want to do a high school advice. First of all, it's not all your friends are going to stay as your friend. Like, they could move to a different school. They could be friends with other people and just leave you behind, you know. Or they could just be your enemy, period. So just keep them in mind because not all your friends are going to be your friends. Things happen. It's life, you know. So, like, you enter high school with a bunch of friends and then you graduate by yourself. Well, that was me, though. So yeah, my hair is sticking out. Sorry, I use this volumizer thing. And second of all, be yourself and not someone else because at the end of the day, you're still yourself. You know, don't be someone who you're not to fit in because you should be able to fit in by being who you are. And that's what makes you special, just being you. Third of all is popular means nothing. Why? Because, you know, it doesn't matter if you're like the cheerleader of the squad or someone really popular in your school. You're, you're not going to carry that fame and popularity when you go to college or wherever you decide to go to in your future because it's only high school. You know, after high school, your life is going to be different. Four is don't be afraid to open yourself up. Like for me, I was a really shy person, so I had a lot of troubles opening myself up. I was always afraid of messing up and making a fool of myself because I don't want people to laugh at me, which... I know people laugh at me already, so I don't really care no more. But yeah, so you know, just try to open yourself up, make friends, and you know, be kind of outgoing. You know, don't be like what I used to be, just be really shy, don't open up. Make a lot of friends, you know, because it's high school, you know, I mean, if you don't get a lot of these people, just go hang out with other people. So yeah, my next tip is kind of the same as my other tip is join many extracurriculars activities. If that makes sense because you know if you join these kind of clubs activity sports and stuff you're able to make new friends and be able to be with people who like the things you like like if you like soccer you'll meet some people who like to play soccer do things that you'd like to do because you meet people that like the same thing as you and you can be friends with them my next step is don't slack off or procrastinate because it's not going to get you anywhere if you're going to find a job they don't want like a slacker right you're not going to call in on your job and stuff like that so you shouldn't be a slacker procrastinator because it follows you wherever you do you know what i mean because you slack off now wait till college you're gonna slack off in college or something so my best advice for you is don't slack off just try your best you know try to stay away from that all right so my next my next advice is study for exam and test because you don't want to study the day before a test because your brain can't process that fast. It takes some studying to make your brain work. So if I were you, I would say, you know, to study like a, a week in advance. Have like group studies, go talk to your teacher, you know. Your teacher is there to help you, so don't be afraid to ask questions, which is my next step. Don't be afraid to ask questions from your teachers. I was a girl who was so shy to raise my hand because I'm afraid to be laughed at. Like I said, I know, crazy. But usually for me, the best way for me is I like one-on-one. -on -one. If I need help, just go talk to a teacher one-on-one -on -one before or after school, doesn't matter. Or I know in high school, there's like study halls so you can find time for to meet with your teacher. And I know teachers, they give you their open hours so you can meet with them. So don't be afraid to ask questions. If you don't ask the question, then you will never know and you'll regret it. My next step is... There's going to be drama. No matter what, there's always going to be drama. Whether it comes to you or it doesn't, there's always going to be drama. So my best advice is stay away from that drama because it's just going to make things worse. You have high school to worry about and there's like more stuff piling onto your shoulders. It's just the worst thing that can happen, right? But drama is drama. It comes. Like I'm pretty sure everyone has been through drama, right? I can admit to that. So try to stay away from it. Sometimes... You're just doing your thing and drama comes to you. And you just gotta deal with that BS. I know. 
I've been there, I've done that, yes. My next advice is to use a planner because a planner is not just for school, that's the thing. A planner can be used for your daily life, for your events, your social life, your work schedule, and you also can write your homework down, right? It's really cheesy. Some people are like, you know, I'll remember in the top of my head. But you know, you don't remember due dates in your head, like a calendar, unless you're really, really good with your brain, then power to you. And a planner is a good thing. Why? Because you're able to write everything down, and when you write it, it's good for your brain, and you'll remember it. The more you write, the more you remember, you know what I mean? The thing I love about planner is that it's a notebook, and you can fit so much in a notebook. That's why you have a planner. But bam, this is my planner right here for college. Oh, the thing came off. But yes, this is my planner. And I love my planner because, you know, you're able to schedule everything on there. Your work life, social life, events, due dates, everything like that in one notebook. The planner. My next advice is to go to events and activities like pep rallies and stuff, prom, homecoming. Because you only go to high school once, so why not, right? So when I was a high school student, I went to all my homecomings, I went to prom my senior year because I wanted to make it special. Go to all those kinds of stuff. I never went to a football game, but you guys should go to all those pep rallies, all those activities because it's fun. You know, when you're out of high school, you're not able to do all those kind of stuff. And plus, because you go to high school once, but you can go to college multiple times. My next step is challenge yourself. You know, take classes that are harder and will transfer to like schools that you want to go to or to like a technical college. Take those classes because you know, at the end, it's gonna benefit you. I mean, if you know that you can pass this class easily, why take it? Why, why not take something that will challenge you? It looks good on your transcript for sure. I know that. So yeah, just do what you gotta do, girl or boy. And yeah, can't talk. All right, duh.